What's up, what's up, fam? This your boy Chows for Cherokan Home Studio. Again, coming at you with a cool video. It's going to be kind of quick, not long. And I'm just going to show you how I uh, format my songs for film and TV. So let's go ahead and dive on to it. Dive on into it. <laughs> All right. Let me put this up so you can see this pretty cool. Okay, so um, let's talk about um, setting up your format for film and TV. There's a certain format that we should go by. So I'll start with uh, the length of your song. Um, the length of your song should be probably about a minute and 45 or a minute, a minute and 30 to two minutes. You don't want it too long. Um, that's just about that's just about good enough for that. Um, there's a format that you want to follow and I'm going to show you as soon as I can pull up my marker. Okay. In here, in this marker section right here, if you notice I have an intro, first verse, chorus one, second verse, end chorus, and a stinger. And uh, those of you who don't know what a stinger may be, this will be at the end of the song and it will always and normally end on the root and maybe some kind of tension um, like a crash or a bass and maybe you know a root of the melody the melody first notes and that will help in the stone out um, and they will call it a stinger so um, as you can see that I have at the bottom here a stinger so um, when you're producing your music for film and TV you want it to always sound different as it changes into the next maybe four bars or depending on you may have it at eight bars but you don't want it no longer than that but you want it to always change okay you want it to um, and that's like saying uh, in the intro you may have a snare roll that will introduce it into the first verse and then as it goes into the chorus there may be a break in this in the beat and then it goes into a chorus with maybe with a riser and then it goes back into the second verse um, a break or something or even um, a roll or something or an instrument that's being taken out so you always want to make it different you don't want to make it sound like a loop basically that's what you want to do okay so each four bars that I have in here in this two minute um, song it'll be different so we're going to go through it so let's start with the intro all right so I'm gonna play the intro As you can see, the intro, it went into the first verse with a moving reverse kick. So it's it's just that simple that you use something to just introduce, you know, to tell that listener, um, hey, this is going into something different. And then, you know, depending on a song that you may have, you may have tension. Um, you would have something maybe even stronger or some type of impact effect or something. You just be creative with it, but you just want to just break up that monotonous loop sound. You don't want that. And that's what they don't want in the film and TV industry. So let's go back to the intro and let's listen to the song. Intro. Now we're in the first verse, actually. Every four bars, it'll change. Now watch this four bars, watch it change it to something different. Instrument wise. Now we're back into the chorus. And that's everything that's playing. Now, 
have the second verse, but I have a break. Sounds different from the first verse. End chorus. Sorry, that was still the second verse. <laughs> now the end chorus. That was your stinger. So again, you have your intro, first verse, your chorus, the second verse inverse and the stinger and it can be different it doesn't have to be this way all the time you can have like the chorus start from the intro then the chorus then the verse you know you can change it like that um just be creative with it and just remember to keep it moving take certain instruments out bring certain instruments back in uh within the verse say the verses uh eight bars and every four bar within the verse you could make something different which is what i did um even in the second verse i even changed up the rhythm so it's very simple if just just follow the, that format um let me pull it up again here's here's your format just start with this and then be creative and change it up around your intro your verse chorus second verse end chorus and a stinger um and it, this goes for the same thing um, with trailer music as well, you know. You do the same thing with that. So just remember those steps. Uh, remember to keep it to 145 to two minutes. Um, and always use your marker so you can like keep things cleaned up um, and keep things in order. And then once you're done with that production and you go into your mixing phase, uh, that's a whole nother class with the mixing. So. You got to have that mixing down pack and then, you know, a little mastering um, and then pitch it to your music supervisor.